androsium androsium is the male reproductive part the male reproductive part so this is the one which produces the male gamete so here the androsium which is the male gamete the androsium it consists of two things one is anther and filament anther and filament it has two parts mainly anther and filament so filament and above that will be having the anther so this is the filament this is the anther and inside the anther inside the anther we take cross section of the anther so it will be having four round bodies so these are called as microsporangium microsporangium it produces microspores are pollen grains so this whole thing we call it as the sac which is called as the pollen sac so here it take two parts it will be an androsium one is the filament and anther anther it contains pollen sac the pollen sac contains microsporangium the microsporangium produces microspores or pollen grains so this is the one which contains the male gamete pollen grain is the one which contains the male gamete so this is about the androsium androsium anther and filament anther contains pollen sac pollen sac contains microsporangium microsporangium produces microspores or pollen grains next we learn about the types of anther so there are basically we have six types of anther is present here so here this is the basi fixed basi fixed anther that means the anther is fixed with the filament at the base that's called basi fixed next is adnate so basi fixed adnate type in adnate type the anther is fixed to the connective tissue the center will be having the filament and both sides will be having the anther so one will be in this side other will be in the other side so this is called adnate type so only is basi fixed adnate and next is dorsi fixed so here the filament is fixed to the dorsal side dorsal side of the anther so it will be having dorsal and ventral side so dorsal side it is fixed is called dorsi fixed and next is called versatile where it will be fixed to the center where the anther divides into two so like this it will divide into two that's called versatile and next is divergent in divergent type the anthers it will be diverged in that each divergent the filament is fixed to that and then we have the delicate type where one and two it will be two separate anthers it will be there so this is the, these are the different types it will be there the types of anthers in extreme condition we have the divergent and the other types we have it in the extreme conditions very rare cases whereas the first basi fix adnate dorsi fix and vestlate all these four types it will be there in uh, almost all angiosperms next is uh, the types of anther based on number this is based on number first one is called monoadelphus monoadelphus mono means single adelphus means bundle if all the anther and filament are present in single bundle it is called as mono adelphus 
mono adelphus and then di adelphus in di adelphus they will present in two bundles so one this is one bundle and separate bundle it will be there that is called di adelphus mono adelphus means single bundle the whole anthus it will be in single bundle whereas in di adelphus it will be two bundles and poly adelphus poly means many so here the anthus are the stamens are present in several bundles many bundles that is called poly adelphus next is syngenesious next type is called syngenesious in syngenesious what will happen <coughs> at the base the filaments are free whereas the anthers are united so you can see it here anthers are united the filament is free that is called as syngenesious and the fourth type synandrous in synandrous all the filament as well as anther both are fixed both are joined together in first type monoadelphous single bundle here diadelphous two bundles polyadelphous many bundles syngenesious filament is free anther is united whereas here in synandrous synandrous type both the filament and anther all of them are joined together this is about the types of the anthers types of anthers a type of stamens next we learn about uh, the gynoecium the gynoecium which is the female reproductive part is the female reproductive part and it consists of three parts stigma style and ovary these are the three important parts of a gynoecium so we'll be having stigma style and ovary and the ovary it is attaches to the base of the flower the base of the flower is called as thalamus this is the structure of the gynoecium stigma stay ovary and base is called as thalamus inside the ovary inside the ovary it has ovules this is the structure of the gynoecium so stigma stay ovary inside the ovary ovules it will be there and base is called as thalamus now where exactly the female gamete is present so in the ovary within the ovules the ovules it has a structure called embryo sac structure called embryo sac so within the embryo sac the egg cells are present this the egg cell contains the female gamete so the female gamete is present within the embryo sac so embryo sac is present inside the ovules ovules are present inside the ovary so this is the region where exactly the embryo sac is present inside the ovary and the ovaries it contains ovule ovules contain embryo sac embryo sac contains the egg cell which is the female gamete so we learn about that now so here you can see that the whole thing this is the ovary so inside the ovary you can see that these are all ovules the ovule structure is this the ovules the outer layer of the ovules are called as integuments outer layer is called as integuments and there will be a small opening here that opening is called micropyle micropyle and center you have the megaspore megaspore producing mother cells this megaspore it is surrounded by 
a nutritive tissue called nucellus, nucellus and there will be a stalk through which it is attached to the ovary that is called funicle, funicle. So, just draw the diagram here. So, the outer layer is integuments. And then you have the funicle, the small opening here it is called micropyle, which is surrounded by the nucellus and center will have the embryo sac. This is the whole structure of the ovary, structure of the ovary or structure of the ovule or embryo sac. Next we learn about uh, the structure in detail. The structure it has two end. The region where the micropyle is present that end is called as micropylar end, micropylar end. The opposite end it will be chalsa end. Chalsa end it will be opposite end. Here you will be having the micropyle, this is called micropylar end. And this is the funicle, this is the funicle by which the whole ovule is attaches to the ovary. With the help of this only funicle only, it is attaches to the ovary, and we have the nucellus at the center, we will have the embryo sac. The embryo sac only contains the female gamete. The embryo sac contains female gamete. So the embryo sac totally uh, it will be it is having 8 cells are there that we will explain it later. Based on the position of ovary flowers are of 3 types epigynous, perigynous, hypogynous. So, here epigynous, epigynous, the next type is hypogynous and perigynous. So, the term epi, epi means above, gynos refers to gynosium and hypo means low, gynos refers to gynosium and peri means outer, hypo means low. So, here the first term epigynos means above the gynosium. So, what does it mean? If you see this picture, the whole ovary it is below whereas the calyx, corolla and androsium it will be above the gynosium. If the plant the flower in which the ovary it will be at the lower whereas the rest of the part it will be above that it is called as epigynous flower, epigynous flower and in hypogynous flower. The ovary it will be on the top, the ovary it will be on the top, whereas the rest of the parts it will be below. And in third type, perigynous flower, peri means outer, where you can see that all the flower parts it will be outer to the gynosium or outer to the ovary. This is about uh, the perigynous flower. So, epigynous means the all other flowerel parts that is calyx, corolla and androsium, it will be on the top above the ovary and hypogynous below the ovary and perigynous sides towards the outer sides of the ovary. This is about uh, the types of uh, flower based on gynosium.